This video is for the second part of tutorial for thermodynamic and we continue with question six. The question is asking about determination of delta H and the question is given to you. When 100 mil of 0.125 molar HCl at 24 degrees Celsius was mixed with 250 mil of 0.1 molar barium hydroxide at 24 degrees, we have to assume that the calorie meter will not be uh, will not change its temperature. The temperature rose. The ten the temperature of the solution rose to 24.5 degrees Celsius. Calculate delta H for the reaction below. Assume the specific heat for the solution is 4.184 joule over gram over Celsius. In calculating heat flow, assume no heat is lost to the surrounding and ignore the small amount of water formed in the reaction. So we can either uh, do the calculation of Q first, or we can settle the uh, calculation of more. So given in the, in the question, uh, the informations that you need to have to calculate more. So mole of HCl is uh, the formula, the formula is MV and I'm using a mini mole here. Okay, and you can also calculate barium hydroxide um, mole by using the, the same formula, molarity times uh, volumes. And the changes of temperature of the solution is 0.5 degrees Celsius. Now, just keep this information first. So the question is asking about delta H of the uh, overall reaction that is given in the question, okay, which is two HCl plus one mole of barium hydroxide forming one mole of barium chloride plus two H2O. So we have to think about the situation. So the reaction is happening in aqueous, means that it is happening in water. Okay, that's why uh, the specific heat capacity here given is, is assuming to be water. So in order to solve this, we have to assume, we have to assume that 100% of the uh, heat uh, released by the reaction is absorbed by the solution, by the water solution, okay? And the total of the volume of the solution is 350 mil. Since this is aqueous, we have to also make assumption that we need to change the uh, volume into mass by considering the density of water, which is, uh, I'm taking the density of water here is one gram per mil. So we can just convert into uh, the volume of the solution, 350 mil into 350 gram. So remember heat produced by the reaction is absorbed by the solution. <clears throat> So from there, uh, we know that the solution temperature rose to 24.5 degrees. So by using this formula, mass 350 gram, mass of the solution times specific heat capacity 4.184 times the change in temperature 0.5, uh, then you can have the value of the heat. 
uh, absorbed by the solution. And remember that this is the reaction for 12.5 millimole of HCl. If you look at the uh, stomach, stoichiometric of the uh, balance equation, you can see that HCl is the limiting reagent. Barium hydroxide is in excess. So we have to consider uh, HCl. Okay, <clears throat> based on the balance reaction uh, given in the question, uh, delta we need to calculate delta H0 okay, for two mole of HCl. And you we already calculated X joule uh, heat from 12.5 millimole of HCl. So we have to calculate uh, the delta H0 for two mole of HCl. So I converted into a minimal uh, unit times X, answer from the heat. And finally, we can get the delta H0 for the reaction. That will be number six. So we look at number seven. So number seven, question number seven, okay. I think you are familiar with calculating delta H naught by using Hess law, which is, for example, uh, the total uh, delta H naught for product minus the total delta H naught for the reactant. Okay, that is using Hess law. So there is another way of uh, to determine or to calculate the delta H for a reaction by manipulating thermochemical equation. So if you look at the questions, uh, we, you are given a, few, a series of uh, equation with related delta H. Okay, you have equation one, equation one with delta H of 100, minus 150 kilojoule, and then you have equation two with delta H of minus 55 kilojoule and equation three with 140 kilojoule as the delta H. And the question is asking, what is the delta H for this balance equation? All right, so this is uh, manipulating, means that we have to do addition of the equation or minus the equation. Okay, we have, that's why we have to manipulate the thermochemical equation. So this is by doing uh, uh, a bit of uh, try and error. So uh, based on this, okay, uh, I have tried, for example, uh, to reverse equation two. So equation two here, okay, I have reversed the equation two. So you can see that when we reverse the equation two, okay, you get three M and O, okay, you reverse the equation two. Okay, means that you re, you put the, the product to become the reactant. So three M and O plus CO2 forming M and three O4 plus CO. So this is the reverse uh, equation two, and now the delta H for equation two becomes 55 kilojoule. If we reverse, then the sign of the delta H now is positive 55 kilojoule. Now, uh, from there, if you look at the final uh, reaction, you know that you need to remove M and O, okay? You need to remove M and O. So that's why I reverse it. 
and then I add it with equation one because you know by doing this you can cancel out the M and O. But because equation one does not have three M and O, okay, to be cancelled out, okay. So that's why I have to times three. So equation one now uh, times three, and so does the delta H has to be times three. Okay, so when I do this, right, the equation one now is times three. You can see here all the uh, coefficients are uh, times with three. And then you can start to cancel out uh, the process of canceling. Okay, if for example, M and O is at the right side and you can see that uh, you can cancel out with the left, okay? Product can cancel out with the reactant. And then you can cancel out CO here, but here you have left with two CO and you can also cancel out CO2 here, okay? And then you can uh, get another uh, two CO2. So now you have a new equation where we can name it as equation four, okay? We have a new equation. So the next step is, okay, uh, to figure out how to remove this MN3O4, okay? Because MN3O4 is not in the final equation, okay? So it looks like uh, equation three, okay, this is the original equation three. And then we can plus, we can add the equation three with equation four, but since the mole is not equivalent, so we have to times two. Equation four here, we have to times two, okay. So finally, we can cancel out okay, the main thing to cancel out these two. And then the rest of the uh, reactants and product can also be canceled, but they are still uh, not finished. So finally, after adding those two equations, equation three plus two times equation four, we get this uh, equation five. So equation five is not yet uh, uh, similar to the uh, expected from the question so because of the mole uh, coefficient is not yet similar. So we need to divide equation five with three to get the final what is expected by the questions. Okay, so now we are able to accomplish the expected equation. So what, what, is, what is needed by uh, for us to do is to calculate the delta H. So we get back to the process that what we have done in order to calculate the delta H. Okay, remember the steps that we do, we reverse the equation two, which contribute 55 kilojoule. <clears throat> the sign is now positive. And we add equation, reverse equation two with uh, three times equation one. So now 55 minus 450 because one, 150 times three is 450. So this is the results of the delta H for the first step, which is delta H for equation four, the new, the new equation. Now the second step steps that we do is we add equation three with two times equation four. So the value of equation three is 140, the value of delta H, uh, add to the two times equation four. So this is the delta H for two times equation four, and we get this minus 650, 
which is the delta H for equation five. Now the final step that we do is to divide equation five with three. So finally we get the delta H uh, naught for the final reaction that is uh, what we have accomplished fr from the manipulation of the thermochemical equation. So this is what is expected uh, for us to solve, to calculate the delta H <coughs> based on the manipulation of um, thermochemical equation. The last question is to calculate uh, boiling point and melting point. Okay, so one thing that you have to know that in phase change, in phase during phase change, uh, the process is at equilibrium. During phase change, whether it is melting or is during a boiling process, it is at equilibrium. And we know when it is at equilibrium, delta D is zero. So we have the original equation. So when delta G is zero, we can uh, simplify the equation into this delta H equal to delta T, sorry, minus T delta S. So what is asked by the, the question is to calculate T, whether it is melting or boiling point. And remember that T is never negative. So we just uh, put the value there. And B also, you can use the same steps as, as above.